with our husbands. We cook and fry and sail and yell. Hallelujah! Any other preacher might not be saying nothing, but we're the ones that's going to grab it behind you. A lot of times he's preaching a sermon that you, that you already told him about. He don't tell nobody he got to <laughs> So you've got to start how to do, learning how to do some things for yourself. I'm not meddling. I'm just shedding the light on a situation that is prevalent with church women. Oh yeah, you first lay that today. But when your husband leaves, it ain't no telling what lady you gonna be. This is not just for women in the church, it's for women everywhere. That's right. You have got to learn how to prepare for role reversal. Suppose you lose your job. Suppose you lose your health. Don't take every dime that you have on a hat and shoes and stuff that's going to perish. You've got to learn how to put something back. That's right. And you men Say it. who marry us for better or for worse. Yeah. But yet you don't prepare for us when you are gone. God is not pleased with that. I'll say it again. You men half-heartedly taking care of the women. And this is basically in the church. Because we are taught to be submissive. It's nothing wrong with being submissive, but you ain't got to be crazy. You go up to brother man, who every time you ask him for a dime, he's gonna turn his back. Mm -hmm. yep. Anytime he turns his back on you, give that money, that's a cheap man. That's a cheap. He's got to know that you are a one flesh. And he should be concerned with what happens to you when he is gone. No, I'm telling you, y'all look at me like all is well, but I know better. Everywhere I go, the men even appreciate it. You owe it to your children's mother to know what's going to happen to them after you are gone. 